What's going on ladies and gents, boys and girls of Air Gun World? This is your boy Will here again. And what do I have here guys? Yeah, something I've been working on for a little while. This gun here, as you know by the title of the of the video, this is the FX AR-17. The AR-17, uh, the reason I call it that because it kind of resembles an AR and a 17 caliber, 177. So I wanted to build my first 177, completely built it. I went over the top, hopefully I didn't go over the top too much, but I like it. Um, the gun came out great guys, excellent. But I wanna reveal it to you guys. So I've been working on this bad boy for about three and a half months and just got done with it about maybe two weeks ago I had to wait on the scope I had to replace this guy because it's a compact gun and this is even though this is really not a long scope you know traditional 14 and a half inch scope I needed something smaller so my new build uh, a lot of custom parts uh, I made so many things for this gun that will completely take it away from the FX impact look. I want you guys to see it and I want you to come along with me on all these journeys that I do and the future builds as well. But I definitely wanted you guys to get a peek at this and tell me in the comments, what do you think? Is it over the top? Does it look good? Or should I have left it alone? FX Impact AR-17 in the flesh. Wham! Alright. There you guys go. I... I love the way the build turned out to be. Uh, it, it's got so much going on this gun um, uh, my, my, my purpose of this build was to make it look like a firearm uh, an AR-15 uh, AR-17 now but uh, I just couldn't really wrap my head on how I wanted to approach this so it took me a while but uh, all the custom parts uh, a complete rebuilt Picatinny rail built it myself uh, I put uh, side cover plates on each side of the gun so you can't see through no more. Uh, I can still get to a, my adjuster. All I have to do is remove one set screw here and uh, that'll be a one, two seconds, take it off, remove the side plates, adjust what I need to adjust and go with it. I already tuned the gun so once I tune the gun, I don't have to touch that uh, valve adjuster anymore. I just use my hammer, uh, my hammer adjuster right here. So now that the gun is tuned, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this. Okay, so what did I do? I completely repainted the gun. Uh, I put uh, three different colors on here, a blue, red, and uh, of course the primary color was was going to be a gunmetal gray. Uh, I wanted the gun a little loud, but not too loud. But uh, I, I thought that it needed more touches, so I started doing more research, and I found these uh, the cheap piece, the grip and the rear stock from uh, Huma Air and they had these in stock and I absolutely loved them they looked at, they, it just looked like it went with the theme really good so I ordered these uh, I built the up uh, the covers I built the rail uh, what else that's about it as far as what I put in besides the paint I did all the paint work myself as well uh, I thought it came out really good it's a very high gloss I put three 
clear coat layers on there so it's really shiny uh definitely i agree it's not a gun that i'm gonna take to the woods and be like oh yeah ain't nobody gonna see me not with this guy here but uh one of my buddies got to see it and i didn't even think about it but uh he says uh yeah it looks kind of like a a gun spider-man will have uh, so i, I kind of left that as an aka ar 17 spider-man gun kind of liked that thank you e uh yeah so i got a bipod quick de detach bipod on there monopod in the back and uh for optics like i said i needed a nice short compact optics this is a 10 inch optics and this is a 4 to 16 by 44 the original optics that was on this gun before i completely crunched it down to barely nothing this is a, a 24 inch gun from outside to here is 24 inches tiny little gun tiny 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 little gun uh i, I i'm ecstatic i'm ecstatic because uh the gun looks great got the vector optics up here i wanted some good turrets like the rest of my scopes uh i love the positive clicks on these uh vortex scopes I um, wanted a scope that was kind of like that. I have a buddy of mine in Chicago, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Big shout out to Ray. He said he's been dealing with these uh, vector optics. And um, I was kind of weary because I don't like to, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And this is how I am with Vortex and, and, and maybe Arkin scopes now uh, and my Athlon scopes. Uh, also, Blackhound. Blackhound, phenomenal scopes. Uh, Southern Gunner introduced me to those. Uh, so, so far from what I see with this optics, the glass is amazing. The, um, the relief box, absolutely amazing. I mean, it's clear as day, uh, the turrets, they pop up, they pop down, lock. They pop up, very nice turrets, very, very, they kind of remind me of the Blackhound. The Blackhound and these turrets are about the same. So to me, that's a great plus. Uh, so Vector Optics makes a great scope from what I got so far. I have not fully run it through its paces, so I can't give you no more information about that. But from what I'm seeing and feeling as far as the turrets go, uh, they're very, very nice, very positive clicks, very smooth lock into place. Um, Everything else is pretty smooth. Uh, the uh, yardage, very smooth. Uh, so, so far, I ain't got nothing to say bad about the scope until I run through its paces. Uh, what else? The paint, yeah, the paint took me about um, three weeks to do. Because uh, I had so many layers. And then I had to go with the primary color. It took me a while to paint it, take my time with it. Um, I probably got to do one little final sand down and then one more clear and I think it'll be perfect. But for right now, I think it looks great just the way it is. I probably won't even do it. It looks really good. Uh, I tricked this out also with uh, the uh, Saber Tactical um, bottle clamp, which I also modified the bottle clamp to accept threaded a laser. So I got the whole laser thing going in there. Yeah, buddy. Coming at you. And the laser is already dialed in to about uh, 7 yards all the way to 20 yards. Perfect. Uh, the gun is tuned really nicely. Uh, I got it. I, I put this uh, digital gauge on there, as you can see. So I got the digital gauge on there. And that was for me for to tune this gun because I only have a 220 cc bottle, not a 300, not a 320, not a 360, a 220 cc bottle on there. Uh, and the shot count that I was managed to get out of this gun is outrageous. 177. It holds uh, 38 shots in the magazine. 38 shots in the magazine. And I get two complete full magazines out of this 200 
and 20 cc bottle at 17 foot pounds uh 860 feet per second so i'm very impressed with that uh sub 12 is more than enough to take anything out and i'm at 17 foot pounds it's got plenty of energy to reach out to about 80 yards which i will probably shoot this gun maybe 60. just my preference um i love it I love it. It's 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 an awesome gun. Getting uh, 76 shots, two magazines out of it. Little tiny bottle, very compact. Ooh, it's a little loud. It's a little loud. It barks hard. But I got something for that. Hold that door. Hold, hold that door. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I designed this purposely like this for a good look. I put, there's a threat protector right here, which will come out, and the barrel ends right at the very end of this. That's all you get. I mean, it's literally maybe about 16,000 away from the actual rail but I will say we should slap one of these guys on before we end up firing this gun and with that we can test it oh nice and quiet nice and quiet I like it I don't know I don't like this I think it ruins the look. I think it ruins the look. It just makes it look long again. I don't like it. I agree. I agree. I think it needs something a little shorter. A little more shorter. Let's try another one. Yeah. Much better. I think this guy will work. I believe this is the uh, uh, if I could get a name this is the sumo and I say the shorter one would be a lot better for looks but also I think it'll look really nice if it blend in with the gun a little bit more Oh yeah, how's that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks great. Right there guys. Now, let's see how quiet this one is compared to the sumo. Okay, it's a little louder than this guy, but, but, I'll take a little loudness. It's more uniform. There we go. That's simple. Uh, yeah, guys, I think this build came out amazing. It looks great. Show you both sides. Uh, I also, I know you're going to ask me about this guy here. This is to bring your cheek piece up and down so I can control my cheek piece just like the original one, but the original one is a lot smaller and I made this one a little bigger and it's custom. And it also goes with the theme of all the little stainless bolts. Uh, I replaced all the bolts to stainless steel bolts. Uh, The laser, the paint, uh, the uh, the whole rear, this whole rear, the magazine goes in really nice now, locks in really solid. Uh, it just definitely, I think it really changed the gun completely around. 
just with my custom stock that I made. I made this as well. Uh, made all the front accessories, the rail, uh, except for the uh, Huma cheek, butt plate, and grip. Everything else is mine and the bottle, of course. Uh, yeah, so I'm happy with this guy, guys. Here's a look at it from the front. Here's a look at it from the back. Here's a look at it from the top. See all the colors on there. Super happy the way this build turned out. The AR-17 is ready to be tested out in the field now. Very happy. Quick little video on this guy here for you guys to see uh, that if you put your mind to it, you can make anything happen. Keep your dreams alive. God bless Ukraine as well. God bless all the countries as well. I know we're going through some hard times, guys. As always, take care. God bless America, and I'll see you guys on the next round.